Hi guys and welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well, we made a video a couple of weeks ago about creating a filterable portfolio. And we've used projects to create this. And we had a comment um, from somebody that said, I should have showed how to actually create the categories. Well, I did briefly show you how to create categories. I'll go over it again and hopefully it'll clarify it. So let's go to our dashboard. And like I say, I made this with projects. So I'm gonna go down to projects and you'll see categories right there. Just go down to categories. And add whatever category you want. Let's make one called red slug that's what appears up in the url so you can use the same thing it'll decapitalize that first r there if you want to have parent categories and subcategories you can do so here for instance if you have a category of shirts you can separate it into red green blue male female whatever you want and if you want to give it a description you can do so below Obviously, mine means nothing because this isn't a real site. Okay, when you're happy, just hit add new category. There it is right there. You can edit it, quick edit, and delete it here if you need to. Now let's just do another one. Okay, now we've added it. There it is, we've got two extra categories there. Let's go over to our portfolio filter here and add them to our portfolio. So I'm gonna enable the visual builder. Now once enabled, let's go down and edit the module. Blue for a section, green for a row, dark for a module. There we go. And as you can see, we've got green and red categories added to our filterable portfolio. But to get that added to our filter up here, we've actually got to assign green and red categories to some of our projects. So let's just leave this. We'll go back here. Let's go down to our projects, all projects. And as you can see, if we look over here, here's all my projects. Here are the categories. One, two, three, four, etc. Really exciting categories there. We can add green and whatever the other one was red to some of our categories here. Simply, I simply hit the quick edit button. This is the easiest way to do it. Roll down, there's green. Let's make this one green. Update. Let's go into this one. Yeah, let's add this to the red. And you may notice that now it's got two categories, category one and the category of green. And it's fine for portfolios to have more than one category if, it, if it's applicable to them. Obviously, if it's a category of shirts, great, it can be in shirts, and then it can be shirts and in red and in female and in whatever you want, or women's or men's or whatever you want. It's okay to have plenty of categories if you need to. So we've got one there, let's add a couple more. Make this one green. And let's make this, this one red. Okay, now we've updated. We may need to update our page here. I've got the visual builder going. I'm gonna go ahead and refresh just so it pulls the correct data. We haven't changed anything, so I'm, I'm happy to let it reload. I don't want to restore the backup because it thinks we've changed something and we haven't. Okay, so let's now go into our module and we'll add the red and green. And there you can see it's added it to our filter here Let's just save this. Save our page changes. 
and exit the Visual Builder. Okay, let's check it out. There's our two little green ones. And there's our two little red ones. And they're also in category two and category four. So remember that picture? Let's have a look at category two. There it is right there. And as you can see, it's displaying, because we got the it's set up to display categories, it's displaying them underneath. And don't forget, this also is exactly the same for your WooCommerce products. If you go into products, you've got categories for your products. And it's exactly the same system. So I hope that's explained that a little bit better than my last video. And I hope that all makes sense. So there you have it. There's how to add categories and subcategories if you wish to your portfolios or your WooCommerce items. So I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. If you have, please ring the bell, give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.